guys, welcome to this video on arithmetic sequences. So the key difference here is um, before we were just looking at number sequences in general. Um, whereas the specific rule here is that the sequence will always differ by some fixed number. Um, with number sequences, we did look at these briefly, but we also looked at other potential uh, sequences such as um, the numbers always squared or, or so something. So um, we've got a general formula here that we're going to use in our first example, and that's going to be to unwrap any arithmetic sequence uh, so we can determine the nth term of any arithmetic sequence. So here we've got a sequence. Um, this is 2, 10, 18, and 26. Now that there, that's just letting you know this refers to question it's one to five in the textbook. This question here that we're going to unpack will allow you to do this one to five. So that's the sequence, 2, 10, 18, 26. And we can see it starts at two and it's increasing by eight each time. So the way we show that the sequence is arithmetic is that the, the difference is the same every time. So if we have the second term, take the first term. Okay, that's going to be 10 take two, which is eight. Okay, if we have the third term, take the second term. Okay, 18 take 10, that's eight. If we have the, third, the fourth term, um, take the third term. We've got 26 take 18, uh, that is eight. Okay, so the difference each time is eight. So it's increasing by eight each time. Therefore, this sequence is arithmetic. Find a formula for the general term Tn. So this is where we're gonna use this rule here. So we've got the nth term is equal to T1. T1 is the first term, which is two. So it's equal to two plus n take one. n is, um, just refers to the nth term. So that doesn't have a specific value. And the value of D is eight. That's the difference between each subsequent term. So we've got an eight in there. And we're just gonna expand this and collect the like terms along here. So we've got the nth term is going to be 2 plus 8n take 8. And when we collect this, we've got 8n take 6. 2 take 8 um, gives us 8n take 6. Excellent. Using your formula, find the 28th term of the sequence. Okay, so again, we've, we've listed the first four terms here. And we could go on indefinitely until we get to the 28th term. But that would be quite tedious and monotonous. So rather, we're going to use the formula we've got here, which is we're going to find the 28th term. That's going to be 8 times 28 take away 6. So 8 times 28, uh, 224, and then take away 6 is 218. So the 28th term will be 218. Is... 1004 or 810 a member of this sequence. So the way we're going to check is we're going to say, well, here's the rule for the sequence. This dictates all the numbers that belong to the sequence. So we're going to just say, well, does the rule satisfy any of these numbers? So we're going to check both. Uh, and I'll do it over here. 8n takes 6 equals 810. So let's check the first one here. 8n takes 6 equals 1004. Well, let's solve it. We've got uh, 10, 10, 1,010. And then we're gonna divide both sides by eight to get n by itself. And if we perform this, we've got 126.25. And this is not a whole number, which tells us n doesn't flow in evenly to 1,004 which means 1004 is not a member of our sequence. So we can specify that, not a member. Let's check 810. We're gonna add six to both sides. So we're gonna get 8n is 816 and divide both sides by eight to get n by itself. And we'll have uh, 102. And so in this circumstance, because n is a whole number, yes, this is a member. Uh, and so the, what this means is the 102nd term of this sequence here, 
So remember up here, we only listed the first four terms, but now we know if you were to write this sequence out to 100 terms, uh, the 102nd term is going to be 810. That's what we've proved here. So there's um, an introduction to arithmetic sequences. That will be enough to answer questions one to five. I don't want to rush through it. I want to make sure we do it slowly, make sure we understand it. Um, so I'm, I'm going to stop there and hopefully do some more when I catch up with you guys in class. Good luck.